The Dark Forest is the second book in the Remembrance of Earth's Past trilogy by Sixin Liu. This installment continues the story set in motion by the impending alien invasion of Earth by the Trisolarans, a civilization from the star system Alpha Centauri, following the events of the first book, The Three-Body Problem. The novel begins with humanity preparing for the arrival of the Trisolaran fleet, which is expected to reach Earth in about 400 years due to the vast distances involved in space travel. Earth's nations unify to create the Earth Trisolaris Organization, ETO, in response to the threat. To counter the superior Trisolaran technology, which enables them to intercept and disrupt all electronic communication, a secretive plan called the Wall Facer Project is conceived by the United Nations. The project involves appointing four individuals with the utmost authority and resources to develop strategies to defend Earth, with their thoughts hidden from Trisolaran surveillance. The central character of The Dark Forest is Luo Ji, an unambitious astronomer and sociologist who is chosen as one of the wall facers. His counterparts include Frederick Tyler, a former U.S. Defense Secretary, Manuel Ray Diaz, the President of Venezuela, and Bill Hines, a famous scientist. Each wall facer devises a different strategy, but Luo Ji remains seemingly indifferent to the task, leading many to question his selection. As the wall facers work on their plans, wall breakers, Trisolar and human sympathizers are assigned to expose and thwart their strategies. Meanwhile, the Trisolarans, curious about human culture, send an alien envoy, an advanced artificial intelligence named Sophon, to gather intelligence on Earth. Luoji becomes fixated on a personal project, asking to have a woman he once met, Zhuang Yan, recreated to live with him in seclusion. His request is granted, and they lead a quiet life together but Luo Ji's seemingly irrelevant actions mask a deeper contemplation. Zhuang Yan eventually leaves, unable to understand Luo Ji's peculiar behavior and lack of urgency regarding the coming invasion. Years pass, and tensions rise as the Trisolarans infiltrate human society further. Tyler, Ray Diaz, and Hines enact their plans, which, although imaginative, are systematically exposed and rendered ineffective by the wall breakers. All the while, Luo Ji remains off the radar, having not disclosed any actionable strategy, making others question his sanity or competence as a wall facer. Eventually, Luo Ji has an epiphany and unveils his strategy, which becomes the central theme of the book, the concept of the dark forest. He explains that the universe is like a dark forest where every civilization is a silent hunter, and every hunter is cautious and secretive. The dark forest theory posits that civilizations are inclined to destroy other life forms the moment they detect them to ensure their own survival, much like a hunter in a dark forest might shoot at any rustling sound in the bushes. Therefore, the mere act of exposing one's existence is an invitation to destruction because of the impossibility of truly understanding and trusting alien life. Armed with this new understanding of cosmic sociology, Luoji devises a plan that involves publicly broadcasting the location of a nearby star system while simultaneously threatening to reveal the Trisolaran's location, creating a mutually assured destruction scenario. He deduces that if the Trisolarans do not call off their invasion, he will broadcast their coordinates to the rest of the universe, inviting other predatory civilizations to attack them. Luoji's strategy hinges on the theory that since advanced civilizations would eradicate any potential threat preemptively, broadcasting Trisolera's location would essentially sign their death warrant. The Trisolerans, recognizing the validity of the Dark Forest theory, are forced to halt their fleet and negotiate with humanity to keep their location hidden. As the novel draws to a close, it becomes clear that Luoji's stratagem has bought humanity time but the dark forest theory also implies that the universe remains a perilous place, full of hidden dangers. With Earth's existence momentarily shielded by the standoff, the story concludes with an uneasy peace, leaving the larger question of humanity's place in the cosmos and the long-term survival of civilization open-ended. Luoji, now entrusted with safeguarding the coordinates of the Trisolaran system, becomes a sword holder, tasked with the burden of executing the deterrence plan should the Trisolarans ever break the agreement. In the meantime, humanity begins to expand and explore the universe, knowing that at any time, the delicate balance of this cosmic game of deterrence could collapse, possibly igniting the dark forest into a galaxy-spanning conflagration. 
The novel explores themes of trust, paranoia, and the strategies necessitated by an indifferent universe where life is inextricably entangled in a survival game with stakes as vast as the cosmos itself. With its combination of astrophysics, philosophy, and geopolitics, The Dark Forest expands the scope of the narrative begun in the three-body problem, advancing Liu's overarching vision of humanity's place within the potentially hostile expanse of space. This sets the stage for the trilogy's conclusion in the third book, Death's End, where the implications of the dark forest theory and the fate of humanity are ultimately addressed. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.